The market of uh, North of Africa, Middle East, uh, is growing now. I would like to start from uh, the general theme that uh, ITMA this year um, want to talk about, that is uh, the sustainability. You know, we are trying to revolute again the, the, the market, the industry, textile industry, in order to be more compliant with the new regulations and the new idea of uh, sustainability. Uh, Digital technology is already a chance for us to revolute the textile industry because from the previous uh, industry that has to print with a lot of chemical, a lot of waste, water uh, and so on, digital technology gave us uh, already a very good uh, help to revolute. But uh, we think that it's not enough. 20 years passed by from the first time we introduced in the market our technology and we did a very good job but uh, now day is time to give an opportunity more to our customers to go ahead go ahead what does it mean for us because uh, uh, it's very easy to talk about the sustainability less impact less waste but for a company, a very big company like Epson, what does it mean to, more, to be more sustainable? We think that in our industry, and we have to be more flexible. We need to give the opportunity to our customers to, to print with machines that are very flexible. So you have one unit that can play on many different fibers, can play with many different colors, inks, and of course uh, try to uh, uh, have less waste as possible. When we talk about waste, we don't want to talk only about uh, water. We can also talk about chemicals and time. Wasted time is a cost. Wasted time is uh, something that uh, in any case uh, our customers wanted to avoid. So. Uh, with this philosophy, with this uh, idea, we went uh, here and we prepared several different uh, products, uh, printers of course, that follow in any case uh, the flexibility. Starting from the first uh, smallest unit we have that we call Mini Mona Lisa because Mona Lisa is a brand, it's a brand well known but we have a several models. This is the smallest one and this, the, the flexibility of this model comes because they have a dedicated printing hand for pre and post treatment so that the, the, the the customers, all customers of course, a studio or someone that wanted to start can produce without all the equipment we need for pre and post steaming, washing so Of course in this case they will print by pigment ink, but from the beginning to the end in only one small machine, cheap enough, very quick, it's the best flexibility for this kind of small customers. Uh, because of the scale of uh, diff uh, different customer size, we have a uh, uh, ML 13000 that is just behind of the new Mona Lisa. That is uh, the same concept but for a semi industrial size. So, again, uh, 13 head, Epson head, 8 dedicated to colors, 8 colors, and plus 5 dedicated for pre and post treatment. Everything is uh, printed together in order to have in only one step the final product. Again, this is for us what we call uh, to be flexible as much as possible, to save uh, 
Tyler say the chemicals. It's not enough because now we jump to the industrial side of our customers, the one that has to produce as much as possible. And so we have uh, the other Model Lisa series, 8, and, uh, 16, 32, uh, and 24, 32, and 64 head. So much bigger, much bigger the number of the head means uh, much more productivity in one hour. So from uh, 8,000, that is a 60, 70 nanometer per hour, up to a 64 head machine, that is a 700. You understand that? that customers have the best choice as possible for their requirements. In addition to that, we thought that it was important to try to, push, to, to, to fix the 100% of digitalization. Today it's not, because some of the, the textile effects are not achievable by digital. From now, from today on, we present the Mona Lisa hybrid machine that is able to print also this, this special effect that did yesterday we have to print by screen or rotor. I'm talking about the uh, metal effect, I'm talking about uh, the glossy and matte uh, raising uh, or glossy effect or the, the metal foil, so the glue that has to be calendar with metal foil for a silver and gold effect. So we have several possibilities. Last possibility to let us say 100% digitalization of textile. Where is the flexibility? Is the flexibility is there? If you need this special effect, you can print it like this, and probably it's only a niche market for the total amount of the textile. But if you don't need, you can print as usual with the 16 and and so having the productivity of the 16 and machine. Again, if you are flexible in our mind, you are more sustainable. You don't lose, you don't waste uh, time. Of work. Again, on the 24 head machine and the 12 channel, we give a solution for customers asking for the to have on board on the one machine. Also, the selected ink suitable for some uh, regulation you know God's regulation or ecotex and so on. We, we needed to comply with uh, this kind of regulation. We needed to select uh, the right item, the right color. And uh, having on board 12 possibility, it's much easier for them to select the one they would like, the one they, they need. So again, also in this case, they have more flexibility. In the past, they were obliged to remove the one they don't need and place the new one. But again, it means a waste of chemical, waste of ink, waste of time. This is really more flexible. And we give this possibility for the new request coming from our. The last machine we have is a 32 head in a, a wider size because it's 3 meter 40 machine. 2 meter 40 equipment by pigment is uh, dedicated to the textile market, home textile market. Home textile market uh, has uh, the necessity to have a wide fabric, 3 meter, 2 meter 20, and so they can print uh, regularly. But sometimes uh, they have also the, the, the needs to, to print on regular size, 150, 140. In this case, they can apply the two rows together and print it together. This means to improve the, the, the productivity. And so, even in this case, we can say that it is flexible enough. One machine for two different sizes of fabric means to be more flexible. This is uh, the idea we perform uh, 
thinking about uh, this year, 2023. The market of uh, North of Africa, Middle East uh, is growing now. Let me say that the, we have already experienced uh, 20 years experience in Europe or in other textile industries. But these countries potentially have a big potentiality because they can recover quite immediately. Experience is already done. It's a matter of uh, investment. Uh, Turkey, for example, is one of the most important uh, country for our market for us. After Italy and Europe, Turkey has a huge number of machines already there. And all the other, uh, now we are in uh, Tunisia, in Egypt and so on, we will move uh, towards. Digitalization concept will for sure spread all over the world. It's just a matter of uh, money and time, and that means uh, we need to understand how fast they can invest. And this belongs to another issue, so that is a geopolitical and financial investment. That is not our uh, matter, not in our, in our hand, of course. But for sure, the digitalization of the textile industry will move ahead. There is no risk to go back to the previous one. We cannot uh, survive if we don't revolve with the technology, the environment impact. So the way is this one. Sooner or later, we have to go there. For some countries, we already having a very good level because in Italy, for example, we have the 80% of the total amount of printed is already printed by digital. So you understand, it's a huge volume. Globally, worldwide, of course, the percentage is completely different, but that doesn't matter. The, the path, the trade is already there. It's just a matter of timing, money, investment, and so on. I'm sure we have uh, possibilities. very fast so we needed to invest a lot of time and money to improve uh, you are right we needed to stay ahead if we don't spend and invest money for the improvement you cannot think to to stay ahead in the industry but uh, thanks to the power of a, a so big company like Epson every year we invest a lot of money in the laboratory, in testing, and so we can achieve the result that you can see here in the show that we present four different news. It's not bad. I mean, if everyone, every competitor, every four years, because it's every four years, present some improvement or such kind of improvement, for sure the the textile industry will change faster. In any case, we cannot go back. So, as fast as you do, better is for our work, for our, the environment impact. You know, textile industry is one of the most uh, uh, impacting more on the waste. Uh, so, if we change uh, rapidly, is better for everybody. It's always the same story. You cannot stop the technology. You have to think how you use the manpower again and I'm sure that you will find the solution to having a better life for everybody. But in any case, forget to stop the technology. It's impossible. So, uh, you do by yourself, you do with someone else, but you have to do it as early as possible.
Exactly. So in Italy we had the same problem because uh, the textile industry involves a lot of people. And uh, yesterday to print on the table we needed two guys, one for the screen, three, one for steaming, washing, and it doesn't matter. We produce more than before and so the same total many people involved are still involved. In addition to that, we need uh, someone else to create the design, create the uh, operating <coughs> on the PC, on the software. So they will change, of course. But uh, in any case, if you create uh, something new, you create uh, and you need the manpower. If you stay like you are, you can only lose. So.